I don't really go nowhere, you know. Saturday night I went to Grand Market and go buy some gungo and stuff for it. And the only thing I could buy for them <laughs> is five flowers. Welcome people, welcome back to the channel. So Chrissy finally speaks out and why she left to Rosa. In her Instagram post she made, finding out once again that he cheated after he pleaded that he would change. That was what her, that was her first post she made when in regarding to the relationship she had with Rosa. So it seems like Rosa must cheat Panari understand and she find out once again. People are saying she was already in an abusive relationship based off their YouTube videos. You understand Rosa was very aggressive towards her when it came on to prom. And me say so other people them say so. She go on to state again, begging him to treat me better. You understand when it comes to relationship and a guy not treat you good. At the end of the day, your partner not treat you good. You always try to beg them to treat you better. Well, for some people, because at the end of the day, when the relationship not work and you don't know say how the partner not, partner not treat the other partner good, then find somebody else who will. But she's stating that she was begging him to treat her good and you don't know say it seemed like that never did that one. She made this other post regarding to the relationship that ended. Being brought out of character, trauma response after constantly being gaslighted and lied to. Literally, me not telling any of my people if she has so much things at the end of the day, you know, look like she did happy. You understand? Cause when people um saw her went to um Nikki and Klein um baby newborn baby party, she alone um came. Rosa never did it with her. That the time those people start speculating. So, yo, seems like the relationship gets sour. The relationship not work. But at the end of the day, still to each his own. If it not work, it doesn't make no sense to stay in the relationship and I pretend to please our fans. You understand? It's best to leave. People say, yo, um, at the end of the day, she should have actually made a video and literally explained to her fans what happened and why she left because the fans them build her up to the point where they were Chrissy and Rosa. But other people say, yo, she don't want nobody no explanation. So. People, me don't even know what you say. You know, just make me hear what you think in the comment section. As me say, the relationship now work is best to leave and it seem like she move on and happy right now because she take a lot of trips with her new boyfriend. Yeah, man. Me, me even see her in a, um, a helicopter, you understand? And the same guy posted that same video again. So, it's definitely look like she's living life right now, even though she didn't live life before. But she seems happier right now, probably to somebody else. So... Anyway, still, I'm going to play that the video, then I'm going to see what I want. Check it out. A black banner bearing the image of a mother and her four children in Cocoa Peace carrying and bears testament to the ultimately and horrific murder of 34 years old Kemisha Wright and her children, 15 years old Kimanda Smith, 11 years old Sarah Lee Smith. 5 year old Raphael Smith and 23 months old Kishan Henry. Her mom speaks out after the whole funeral and everything. It's definitely sad losing um, literally a whole family, right? That's because of the wicked boy Russian um, Barnet, you understand? Jano is definitely sad. So she literally speaks out, you understand? And me know she was in her tears right now because big old Christmas, big old New Year's, she would have spent that with her family, you understand? With her grandkids. General people is definitely sad. So this is what she had to say. It's the first Christmas that I had without my daughter and my grandchildren. And it wasn't a pleasant one for me, you know, because every Christmas we always went together at Maypen, you know. We would buy the kids, I would buy the kids them toy, you know, and we would shop around and, you know, have fun go to Juicy Beef and would sit down and we'd eat and drink and, you know, we would enjoy ourselves. But this year was a sad one for me because I don't enjoy my Christmas. I don't really go nowhere, you know. Saturday night I went to Grand Market and go buy some gungo and stuff for it. And the only thing I could buy for them <laughs> is five flowers. Yeah, and I put them on my whatnot. I just said, this one is for my daughter, this one is for Kimanda, this one is for Shara Lee, this, was, this one is for Rafaela, and 
the other little one now is for Kishon, you know? And he's, I just put, place them out on my whatnot and said, these are for my, my daughter and my grandchildren, you know? Because it wasn't pleasant for me. I don't feel it. I don't feel Christmas without them. I just don't feel it, so I just went there and just buy them and just come back home. Yeah, I got to church Sunday and you know, wasn't happy because they always come to church with me. Yeah, they always, I always invite them and they will come. They would come to church with me, sit down and, you know, listen to the word of God. And I was so happy, I always happy with them. Have you visited the place? I can't go down there. I can't. I just can't. So I don't force it. I just can't. I have the, their picture in my home, in my house. And each time I would just sit down and look on them when I am not doing nothing. And you know, tears always came to my eye. But I just can't go to the graveside. I'm just I don't have that courage to go down there. I cannot manage that one. I just can't manage it. So I don't go down there. What did Kimisha usually do with her children? She always get them ready and she would carry them to Maypen. That's what I tell her. They do. She would buy stuff. Meanwhile, I am buying, giving them. She's buying, giving them too. And you know, they always have their little fun. As usual, you would take them over to KFC sometime and she would buy them same way, buy them their chicken and their fries because they always love the fries and so forth. Yeah. And they would walk around, walk down there and just look and, you know, enjoy themselves and so forth. Uh, till she all, she ready, she just bring them up back, their cake and make them sorry and so forth for them and you know she all Christmas time she always come with one cake on give me one cake a malta a bottle with with sorry you know and said mom happy Christmas this is a Christmas present you know he said mom I bake the cake I bake it so enjoy it you know and I would say thanks my daughter thanks you know yeah tell us about the kind of support I got a lot of prayers. I got a lot of prayers from all over Jamaica, abroad, all over the world. The churches, everyone. They really supported me. I just can't complain. I can't complain. All I just have to do is thank everyone. I just thank them for their blessing that they shown unto me, you know? Yes. And up till today, they are still, a lot of them is still showing it to me up till today. They don't leave me out. They call me, Mama Gwen, you all right? They WhatsApp me and, you know, yes. And I am grateful for that. I am so thankful for 